I'm Roxanne Hollisey. Um, this is my project, Breathe. This project is kind of the culmination of uh, the critical issues of the day that um, we're dealing with, the environment um, and uh, the world's plastic plague, um, the respiratory illness of COVID, and then finally, uh, one man's cries, I can't breathe. This particular group of work, Breathe, I took all of my old paintings, different paintings that, you know, as a whole weren't really successful, but there might have been bits and pieces of paintings throughout my career that I've hung on to. And um, I was sort of at a point of, of cleaning out my studio, and I had just been awarded a Hambidge residency. So I thought I would take um, all my old paintings and bring them to Hambage and sort of see what happened. And um, I had already been working with this Breathe series on paper, um, which are 20 by 20. But I have a hard time throwing out work. And so what ends up happening is, you know, I get stacks of, um, of different papers and different, you know, old work, some mark making. Plus I, I collect, you know, when I see beautiful papers, it's, you know, I kind of collect them. And then at some point you have to make a decision what you're gonna what you're gonna do with all of it. So um, there's just a lot of um, kind of letting go and just ripping up old old work. There's really a lot of freedom in deciding that you know this you know th this particular piece isn't gonna move forward and be completed and be successful as a as a piece. But you know I like this little corner, so I rip out that little corner and make it have a conversation with some other pieces. And so when I got to Hambage, I, I decided to continue that with my Breathe and just take all of my old paintings and start cutting them up, adding the word Breathe, and just sort of um, using the energy of the moment and uh, take all the bits and pieces sort of of my past and walk, you know, have them, you know, help walk me forward into the future, sort of. So it was a way of sort of cleaning out, dealing with the past, but then also walking it into the, you know, future and the current situation of kind of now what we're going through. And so these are 2020, which signifies the year 2020. And then the breathe that's incorporated in each of these um, has to do, obviously, it started with, with COVID and this respiratory illness that we were dealing with. And then the, um, the horrific death of Mr. George Floyd that we all saw um, on TV and then various other uh, acts of violence kind of, um, kind of shook me and for you know for weeks and months with the riots and all we were hearing is breathe breathe and I can't breathe and so that word became very very important um, so I've incorporated breathe into all of these pieces it was kind of a, a way that I could be very meditative uh, process my my anxiety and uh, kind of incorporate the energy of what was going on what was like what I was hearing through the TV what I was experiencing in my own life and kind of bring it forward into into a group of work I started playing around I, I've been sewing in my work for years and so with this piece I with this group, I really wanted to explore all sorts of um, different stitching. And then again, it became structural and also, you know, aesthetic, different lines and trying to, you know, see which different stitch uh, was, you know, worked well with the different, with the different pieces. I've been using grommets for a couple of years, and um, at first they were used as more of a structural element if I needed to hang things. And for this particular piece, I started incorporating them almost more as, as a, um, an aesthetic. You know, they just become another 
um, another texture, a shape, a color. Um, and they also, they do provide structure, but, but they're more aesthetic than, than structural. The word breathe is, is within this work everywhere, yet there is some playful, some hopefulness, and you know, spring, spring was coming, you know, we kind of went through the shutdown, and then in April, May, you know, if you would go outside, it was still very joyful. I mean, there, you know, there was the birds and the flowers were coming, and so it was like, that's where I found all my inspiration and hope to kind of get through this time, was to be out in nature. They're colorful and they do, even though they deal kind of with a heavy subject and it's been a tragic year, there's always a sense of, I want um, positive energy, I want uplifting energy and I want hope. And so these pieces, even though they deal with, you know, with this crisis that we're in this year, they're also, you know, projecting forward and to be hopeful. And there's, you know, there's, there's growth patterns and there's suggestions of, of, of nature. And then also the size of these large paintings. They're, they're six foot high, they're six foot, and that uh, measurement is important because everything right now is, you know, six foot apart and, and whatnot. So um, I, I wanted to make six foot painting. I, I'm a multidisciplinary artist, so I love working with all sorts of different materials. I find excitement in the, um, the conversation and the energy that different materials uh, create when they're put together. You know, I tend to really do a lot of heavy layering. You know, I just, you know, I, I enjoy it. Um, I love the process, um, but also it can get, um, it can be, it can get to be a lot visually for, for a lot of people. And so I wanted to try to be really, really restrained. And so I, I played around with leaving a lot of, uh, a lot of air a lot of space on a couple of these paintings, which, which is different for me. And just kind of letting, letting the simplicity and uh, the openness of the piece speak. When I went up to Hambage, um, you know, it was kind of, I went in August and I was in kind of a dark place with everything that was going on. Uh, you know, politically, environmentally, socially, and um, I just went up there for three weeks by myself in a cabin, and what it did, reconnecting with nature, it actually gave me a sense of hope. I came back to Atlanta, and I had hope again for the future, and so that's what this work became about, is, is pushing forward and having hope that things will get better and sometimes with you know with 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 tragedy um, sometimes it it kind of propels you forward into into change and you hopefully that change will be positive was given a, a grant from Fulton County Arts and Culture. And so that um, has helped support this project and me completing this project. So I wanna thank Fulton County for supporting me.